Sports only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! After 7 o'clock, it is March 12th, 2015. It is 69 degrees here at the studios of The Source, WOCA, broadcasting live from the still dark Paddock Mall because somebody forgot to turn the sun on. Just inside those doors is the delicious WOCA commissary where you too can get a bite to eat. Very much so. Maybe a sandwich. There you go. Maybe a slice. Maybe some Chinese food. Hamburger. I know. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Such a good morning, Robin. How you deal. doing? Good morning. I'm doing fine. How are you? Getting ready to start the day. Got a good show planned for everybody. Looks like a lot of guests this morning, so we'll be here in a long time today. And our, our good friend, Doug Smith, joining us this Thursday morning. Yep. How are you doing, Doug? Around Thursday I'm doing okay. Week. Yeah, and he was so disappointed there was no donuts in the refrigerator this morning. They must have all nope. disappeared. Yep. Well, they were a week old. Oh, is that how they disappeared? Yeah. Oh, they, yep. they were a week old last night. So See, this is not the way men think, is go. it, Doug? Men don't think that way. If there's no, a donut in the refrigerator, it's good. It doesn't matter if it was from last year. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we have a good, good show this morning. 735, Dr. Charles Abrams is joining us. He is the president-elect of the American Society of Hematology, and he's speaking about the risk factors of deep vein thrombosis and uh, life-threatening blood clots. And uh, March is Deep Vein Thrombosis Awareness Month, which is why he's coming on. He's coming on for 10 minutes. Yes, he is. After the break at 745, I want to talk to you about how media uh, manipulates the truth. Oh, okay. How media manipulates the truth. Okay, I love that topic. We've talked about this many times, but I have the how-to guide. Okay. The media's how-to guide for manipulating the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I like that. It is really, really an interesting article. Um, and, and it's really something we've all known already. It is just something that anybody mm-hmm. who, th- who thinks that they know things from the media and doesn't realize that there's probably part of the story that's not being told to you, this will be the eye-opener for those people. But most of these listeners, Robin, know all this stuff. I think so. They're brilliant. 835. That's when we talk about the news and we don't comment on it. We just read the news. Now now and then we do break that golden rule. Uh, it's just, just our human nature. But otherwise, it's just an opportunity to deliver the news in short form. Veterans News is today. Today is Thursday. Hank Whittier will be here. He's the executive director of Vets Helping Vets. And uh, he always brings us that program on Thursdays. He's been doing it for more than a decade now. Gene Klein in the studio. He is a survivor of the Holocaust, of the Auschwitz and Wolfsburg concentration camps. And, of course, that was during World War II. He is a teacher at the Lifelong Learning College. He is um, going to talk about Gene Klein's presentation about the Holocaust. Oh, I'm sorry. That is his the name. I'm sorry. At the Temple Beth Shalom. And that's going to be, I'll tell you the date because you wrote it down, March 15th. Mm-hmm. It's this weekend, right? Yep, it certainly uh, is. And he's got a book and a DVD to talk about called My Year in Hell, part of the archival collections of the United States Memorial Holocaust Museum. You know what I discovered recently? I know I What's told that? you this yesterday at my place. The guy who played the character LeBeau on Hogan's Heroes yes. was actually in uh, a concentration camp 
think his name was Robert Cleary. Oh, is that right? I don't know. I don't know his name. But but, but, but anyway, yeah. And I think he's the only cast member from that TV show that's still alive. So he was... And I think Mm. the guy who played Colonel Klink, I think his family had to uh, escape Germany because of the Nazi occupation. Oh, how fascinating. I believe Colonel Klink was Jewish. I think that that's I think. what you said. And, I and which know would that. mean LeBeau was also Jewish, right? With, with the actor who played him. Yeah. Werner Klemperer, I think, played Klemperer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was his name. And I, I thought he was still alive, but I think I'm wrong about that. I think he has passed. But anyway, uh, it's interesting, huh? That I mean, it's very. I mean, in one one time of his life, the guy who played LeBeau, you know, was it was a very serious. I mean, horrendously serious. He was starving to death. I, I was watching an interview, uh, and he survived. And then he went on to make fun of of the whole thing, which may, mm-hmm. well, maybe that's kind of kind of a good thing. It's, it's his therapy, kind of maybe. A, yeah. To to uh, dig it to the Nazis. Uh, Stephen Hupp at ten oh five. Stephen has a book called "Great Myths of Child Development." He's a professor of clinical child and school psychology in, in Illinois. Uh, 1035, Dr. Thelma Duffy is a licensed professional counselor, and she's talking about the value counseling. I'm sorry, the value that counseling can bring to a person suffering from depression. There you go. I'm sorry. I'm so depressed when I get things wrong. <laughs> I know. De- me Dennis too. Lehane I is a New York that. Times bestselling <laughs> author his, whose books were made into movies. This yeah. This would be perfect for our new friend, Summer Gill, who told us she likes to read books that are made into movies. Exactly. Um, and I got something for summer, too, by the way. Um, Dennis Lehane is his name. He's got a book called World Gone By, a thriller novel set in Tampa. Yeah. In the late spring of 1943. Nice. Yeah, and he was like Mystic River, you know, starring Sean Penn, Gone Baby Gone, uh, Shutter Island starring Leonardo DiCaprio, The Given Day, Moonlight Mile. I mean, he wrote all of those books that were turned into movies. So he's amazing. David Foreman will be in the studio. We've had David Foreman on many times. We always say, how come you never come up and visit us? Well, today he is. Yep. He is the herbal pharmacist, has his own syndicated radio show where he tells people what kind of herbs to use to make Mm -hmm. themselves better. Uh, And so he'll be in the studio at 11.05. Fun with Joe today. Yes. Maybe David will stick around. Maybe David will have a remedy. Joe's been under the weather. Oh, yeah, he has. I hope Joe gets better soon. Uh, Everything leads to bacon is my game with you and Joe on Fun with Joe today. Okay, nice. And that would be Kevin Bacon. Okay, I like it. Uh, it's going to be a fun game. Uh, the, the segment with Galen Unold. I have some would you rather questions. Oh, okay. This is like uh, when you're a kid, the children will say to each other, would you rather be happy and poor, mm-hmm. happy, happy and poor uh-huh. or, or sad and rich? Yes, exactly. Which, which would you rather be, mm-hmm. happy and poor or sad and rich? Yeah. What's the answer? What would you rather be? Happy mm, and poor. Happy and poor. And that's sure. my. Yeah. No, that's my answer. I've never known anything know. else. <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> All right, so but just happy and rich, being poor. Rich meaning in the money, money sense. Yeah. All right, so let's see what else we have in the uh, to talk about this morning. Um, I like Dennis Lehane's book jacket because it's half. I just think it's just so clever. Oh, okay, okay. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did I, did I leave something out? I felt like I was, there was something else I was going to do. Uh, we are um, participating in another Kiss the Horse campaign, for those mm-hmm. who haven't heard. Yep. Uh, Robin and I decided we would say yes to the invitation this year, and um, we enjoyed doing it in years past. We actually won one of those years. The first year we participated. We lost two of those years, so this is our fourth year doing this. Yep. And the way we're doing it is we have a, uh, an idea. Mm-hmm. And it seems to be already uh, taking on. We already have a couple it of is. people who said, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, we do. And we so what we're games. doing is, uh, for those of you who know, Robert and I do music. She plays mandolin. I play accordion. Mm-hmm. We have other music we do, too, but that's kind of the, the fun stuff we do. Yeah. And so we will show up at any event that you have mm-hmm. for a contribution to the um, Marion County Literacy Council, Council. And that amount of your donation is up to you. Yes. If you want to give us a penny, I guess we'll walk away with a penny and del- <laughs> deliver it to the to the, uh, the literacy, literacy council. council. Yep. But anyway, all the money. It is fun. So if you have something, we're calling it the Oompa surprise because you might want to do this to somebody that doesn't know we're going to do this. Yeah, you can. Or you know, or you can let them know what's showing up. Go. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, so we'll come and we'll stroll through your event. We mm-hmm. won't sit in the corner unless you want us to. 
Yeah. If you have a wine and cheese event, sometimes it's better to just have us sit in the corner. The ambiance. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, it's kind of pretty music. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's more like French waltzes and Italian waltzes. And yeah. The Godfather, the theme from The Godfather. There's some of that. Is that we do have our share of polkas, too, from for the Oktoberfest folks. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> so if you want some of that. Anyway, just call Robin and set it up. Uh, but keep in mind, we do the show, and there's no way we can do anything before, like, 12.30 at the po- early po- earliest possible, and you'd have to be really close to yeah, the mall. Yeah, if, if, if you're, like, two blocks away. Yeah, but That'll call, get us there by 12.30. But call Robin, and she'll set it up. So we don't use any amplifiers. We just show up. We're going to we're gonna show up and just kind of stroll through and, and play music for a half hour, an hour, whatever you want. Yeah. And all you have to do is make a donation to the Literacy Council. Boom, period. It's a tax-deductible donation, by the way. Right. We don't get any of the money. It's no. 100%. If we raise the most money, then we get to kiss the horse at the end yep. of the campaign, which is April 28th. Yep. Right? Yes. It's so, on Tuesday. So the way to do that is... And, and we've already got some. So we so keep in mind how limited we are. We can only do it from 1230 on. Mm-hmm. More like 1 o'clock if yeah. you're anywhere else in Ocala. Yeah, 1 o'clock is the... Uh, <laughs> Okay, Robin says one. I say twelve thirty because what if somebody in the mall wanted it? Oh, that's easy to do. That's what I mean. So call Robin. Will tell you whether we can do it at twelve thirty. Okay. I just thought we'd give ourselves an extra half hour. There you go. I want to win. Me too. I want to win, be- win because there are some rich guys in- who have been recruited to be candidates. Exactly. Ultra rich. I-, I am sick and tired of rich guys winning. Exactly. I am sick and tired of it because all you have to do to win any of these things if you're a rich guy is write a check. For exactly. us, we literally have to work it. Yeah, we do. I we mean, have we to work, work it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all these years, we have worked it every day. All right. So help us help us help them if you want to do mm-hmm. this. It's uh, hope, Hopefully the idea is easy to understand. Yep. All right. We've got to take a little break and uh, we'll be back. It's 730. It's 69 degrees. It's getting bright out there little by little. And this is The Source, WOCA Ocala. News Radio. I'm Steve Rappaport. Two police officers shot in Ferguson, Missouri. One was shot in the face, the other shot in the shoulder. This occurred just after midnight last night after protests had been going on in front of the Ferguson Police Department for several hours. Uh, Police Chief John Belmar says that at least three shots were fired from across the street directly into a crowd of police officers there in front of the department. Fox's Garrett Tenney, the officers hospitalized with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Protesters surrounded the police station after embattled Ferguson Chief Tom Jackson decided to turn in his badge. Another black eye for the Secret Service. Two senior agents are under investigation following a car crash at the White House complex. According to the Washington Post, the agents drove a government car into a security barrier after a night of drinking. Fox's Jackie Ivanez, Fox News. We report, you decide. News on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from FoxNews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts. And it's all free. Go to FoxNews2Go.mobi. That's FoxNews, the number two, go.mobi. Some people would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never try are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. 
estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333.